Uh, I wanted you to know that I am probably the first person that you've talked to tonight who's not a ghost. Uh, I'm just your basic Pueblo in here, so uh, like your, everybody what's else. Story? Um, <laughs> I'm here to talk about the WPA. You know anything hey, about that? I'm doing a research paper on it right now. Really? Well, maybe you ought to come over here and do this. No, I, I shouldn't, but, uh, you know, I just started my project, and I would like to hear some first-hand experience. First-hand experience? How old do you think I am? Oh, I don't know. Uh, 75, maybe? Why, you are way off. Besides, I'd have to be a whole lot older than 75 to have first-hand experience with the WPA. I learned most of what I know from my dad and his generation. You might say I've already done my research paper. Well, I heard that the WPA did several projects right here in Pueblo. Yeah, you know anything about them? Well, uh, before we get into it, maybe we should acknowledge that maybe not everyone here knows uh, what the WPA stands for. Well, actually, that's a pretty good idea. You're smarter than you look. Hey. Well, what you tell us? Well, uh, the WPA was the Works Progress Administration. And you see, the Works Progress Administration was uh, an organization that was built to help people provide jobs back in the day. Uh, I mean, I heard that uh, in, the, in, the, in the first, when things first started, got rolling, uh, there was as many as uh, 3,500 jobs here in Pueblo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that's important to know, too, that this was in the context of the Great Depression. In the 1930s, when one year the, the unemployment rate was 3%. Imagine that, that's better than what we have now, probably. And then three years later, it was 25%. Think about that, one in every four people out of work. This was a time when uh, the WPA was put together in something that Franklin Roosevelt, the president, called the New Deal. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, 3,500 is really nothing in comparison to eight and a half million jobs created by the WPA all around America. I mean, every town was having something built and, uh, and, and Pueblo was no exception, you know? Yeah, uh, and the city fathers, the, the politicians of the time, they knew that uh, this was not only going to be good for jobs, but it was also uh, a really good thing to help them with the costly recovery from devastating events like the 1921 flood that took out so much infrastructure. And they also knew that a lot of these projects had the potential to serve the community for generations, and a lot of those have. You know anything about those? Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, for example, I was just at the, at the zoo a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm, do tell. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I heard that originally it was just uh, a bunch of animal cages just sitting in the middle of a city, city park. That doesn't sound very interesting to me. But, you know, eventually the WPA crews were put to work excavating bear pits and, and building a monkey mountain and uh, and uh, they worked on the zoo's irrigation system and and honestly they were responsible for a majority of the zoo's structures in fact you know it wasn't just the zoo it was uh, city park itself I mean pavilions bridges uh, uh, roads all WPA projects so but you know enough about what I know I, I'd like to hear what you have to say oh well thank you <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> uh, I'll just list off a few for you, okay? And uh, to cut down on time a little bit, I'll just uh, just name them off and not, not elaborate too much. Uh, you know those uh, stone fences that go for two or three blocks over there on Northern with the big stone archways at the cemetery, WPA? You go on down to, to uh, Prairie, then on down where there's a big hangar type building past Safeway. Well, that, that was the old airport. They did a lot of the runways out there. Then across the street to the fairgrounds, Lots and lots of those intricate stone buildings that you see out there. Some of them have been stuccoed over to look more modern, but you go around the side, you see that old stone. And uh, in fact, the Ag Palace was, uh, you know, where so many of you go in and buy things that you really, really need <laughs> once a year. Uh, then we go across the bridge over to the State Hospital. There's things over there. Then down 18th Street to Mineral Palace Park and uh, they did Lake Clare and some things there. They did uh, fire departments, they, uh, fire stations. They did um, 19 different parks, landscaping and buildings in parks around town. They did uh, uh, some work at the Memorial Hall, uh, all kinds of things. I could go on and on. Uh, probably the one that I say for the end is sewage treatment plants. Glad you, I'm glad you say that to the end. Yeah, you know, uh, I heard that that some of those stone structures you were talking about, some of those fences and buildings, were actually built using native limestone, which uh, was quarried uh, out there by Beulah Highway 
uh, uh, kind of by the south side landfill. Yeah, by the dump out there, yeah. And uh, the gravel to make the mortar to hold all that stuff together was from Bacalite Mesa out past the university. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, the, the, that reminds me, actually, because I was talking about Beulah Highway, uh, uh, that reminds me of uh, Horseshoe Lodge. You know, Horseshoe Lodge up in, uh, up in the environmental center there in Beulah, Beulah Mountains Park, that was another WPA built structure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the WPA was around for for only eight years, but as we were talking about, I mean, they they were booming with productivity. In fact, uh, I have some statistics for you all, and uh, I have them right here on my new uh, handy dandy oh. new age device. Let's see. All right. All I do is make phone calls. To each his own. Well, anyway, the WPA <laughs> produced more than 650 thousand miles of roads, uh, 125,000 public buildings, uh, they built 75,000 bridges, 8,000 parks, and 800 airports. 800 airports all right here in Pueblo. Just kidding, I'm just pulling your leg. Yeah. That was uh, well, hey, I have, uh, I have a little list here too, won't take very long. And I have my handy dandy modern devices. The Federal Arts Project, the Federal Writers Project, the Federal Theater Project, all part of the WPA, employed thousands of artists, writers, and actors creating artwork. I hate actors. Yeah, I'm just here. Creating artwork for public <laughs> buildings, documenting local life and folk traditions, and organizing community theaters. Hey, do you know what the average salary for a WPA worker was? Well, I've done my research. Just I you say know, no. I, all right, you stumped me. I, I don't know. Forty-one dollars and fifty-seven cents a month. <laughs> My wife and I spend more on a Friday night eating sushi. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you eat sushi, hey, old man? Shut up. <laughs> so they still do? Are they still write research papers, huh? Yeah. I yeah. thought maybe you'd be Facebooking it or uh, twerping your paper or something like that. Have you done any Googleifying yet? Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna be doing all my research. Uh, right here, you know, and maybe uh, once I'm done, I'll uh, twerp you a copy. Hey, I'll twerp you a copy, bud. <laughs> Why don't you just take your, your little group here, move on to the next one. I'm sure you'll have something to say about that, too. And uh, there are lots of people who are coming up here who want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> 